Hey everyone, it's Teresa here and welcome back to December Daily 2020. In today's video, I wanted to share with you how I pulled together this little uh, 12 days of Christmas, Christmas tree kind of advent calendar inspired page. And so I was working with the Celine Studio Favorite Things collection and the December days number six, I believe. And you guys, if you know me and you followed me any amount of time, you know that I go gaga over the, the December daily numbers every year. And every year, Krista designs and releases the most amazing digital numbers kits. If you've never bought them before, let me just tell you, you need to run, don't walk, over to the lily pad and grab this December Days number kit. And as soon as I saw these, I thought about this little Advent idea. And um, if you go on Pinterest and you type in Christmas Tree Advent, calendar, you're going to get 50 iterations or 50 different versions of this. And so I worked it out in Photoshop how to get the little doors to open and everything. And so I wanted to just show you once I printed out my Photoshop uh, document here, then I'm making the back piece for the little insert and so I will be sending this out as a freebie. It will not have the numbers on it. I will send out the the Christmas tree advent uh, print file for you and you'll be able to uh, add your own numbers if you like, uh, adhere them on top. If you're not a Photoshop kind of person, it'll just be a quick PDF uh, mailing. So make sure that you are signed up for our newsletter. You can do that through the blog. You can do that through the link below. Um, because I had a lot of fun creating this and I love how it turned out. I think that you could add all kinds of little things on your door, inside your door, what I plan on doing is doing a 12 favorite things kind of layout and then I'll just journal inside the doors. Uh, and so what you can see I'm doing here is just cutting out each of the little doors. And so uh, just a word of caution when you're using an X-Acto knife like this, keep your fingers on the <laughs> inside of the ruler, but um, also make sure that you're cutting the right side of the door and not the left side of the door. So I went from right to left and cut all of them as they appeared uh, just to make sure I didn't forget any or miss anything. And um, you could run this through your silhouette through your die cutting machine, uh, you would just want to tell it to maybe um, score the, the left hand side. Uh, I'm not sure, I haven't done that in the silhouette because I really wanted to just show how easy it was to do this by hand. And I did leave a rectangle. Each of the doors has a rectangle around it. I cut inside the rectangle so that they would stand, so that the border would stand sort of like a, um, a, a door frame or whatever. I'm so sorry that my big giant head is kind of getting in the way there, but um, just continuing to work my way around each of the little doors. And you'll notice I did leave a couple that a couple of doors that don't have a number on them. That was just how this worked out. Uh, and I'm just going to embellish those doors some kind of way. And I know that 
once I have all the little doors cut and I adhere the two pieces together, right? There's the top piece of the insert and then the bottom piece. Um, once I have these all cut out, then I'm going to embellish this a little bit. Uh, so I am working with the Favorite Things collection, which is the Celine Studio uh, December release this year. I'm so excited that uh, she was able to release that collection. I quite frankly uh, ran out of time to be able to create any more foundation pages. I have so many other ideas in my head <laughs> that I could I could have done had I had more time. Um, so <laughs> that it's always the final push at the end of November just to get all the foundation pages made that I want to get made. And this year I definitely uh, ran out of time. It looks like I have about 22 foundation pages made, I think. And so I'll be sharing that I'll be sharing that flip through with you in just a couple of days. Just hang on uh, and I'll get that out to you so you guys can see uh, what my album looks like prior to beginning the month of December. And then I wanted to share with you just what you can expect throughout the month of December. And so there's a bit of a transition going on with my blog. I'm so excited to have a, a an incredibly talented design team this coming year for Light the Path. And so they are going to be sharing on the blog uh, beginning, beginning uh, December. And that means that they will be on the blog on Tuesdays and Fridays. And what I will do in the month of December, I still plan on sharing some creative projects, sharing some work with you. I'll be doing the art journal pages in the new year. But um, I will be sharing my December daily projects on uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays. So you'll get uh, notifications of those, those blog pages pages or blog posts on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Also um, process videos with those. I plan to batch my days this year so that I can continue sharing the project throughout the month of December. That is uh, just a highlight of the year every year to get to participate in this project. And I appreciate you so much that you are here and you encourage me and show me so much love through this process. Thank you for that. And so you can see I went ahead and I grabbed my bone folder and I opened up all of the doors. Um, and so now I'm going to adhere the, the top page and the bottom page together. And so what I'm doing is it. I'm adding adhesive to the door frame itself in between each door. There's not a lot of room in between there. Um, you could use a glue pen, and I, I, in hindsight, maybe that would have been a better idea. Um, so if you prefer to use a glue pen, I would recommend that. <laughs> um, I just used a, cu a couple of little strips there to keep from getting adhesive where I did not want the adhesive. Um, but a glue pen would definitely work a little bit better for this job. And <laughs> isn't that the lovely part about watching a process video? Is that someone else gets to make the mistakes for you and then you get to take their take from their learned experiences. So there you go. Um, but I do hope that you will uh, grab this little printable and make one for yourself. I would love to see what you do. Again, just a reminder, it will not have the numbers on it. I will have a link to the December Days collection. Uh, I'm sorry, 
the, the Favorite Things Collection and the December Days numbers. I'll have those linked below so that you can hop over and purchase those and use those in your uh, layouts. Such a great collection as always. And uh, December Daily <clears throat> would not be complete without a gorgeous kit from Celine Studio. <laughs> so, so glad to uh, get that in there. And so at this point, I'm just going to uh, make those folds a little bit cleaner using using this bone folder. And I have to say that I, this, this bone folder kind of irritated me because it's this old thing that I have from when I had a Cricut, like, I don't know, 10 years ago or something. <laughs> And it has a metal edge on it, and that metal edge leaves a mark on your cardstock. So it's not a very functional <laughs> bone folder. I need to just get a plain white one. I know. I know. Um, one of these days when I'm in the craft store, I will actually remember to do that. But uh, <laughs> anyway, so I just uh, firmed up those, those folds there. And then the Favorite Things kit had these beautiful birds as part of the kit. So I printed those and then cut them out. Uh, I just used my silhouette for that. And they look fabulous. One in each corner, um, just like that. I trimmed them pretty close to the edge and let a little of the branches run off the page uh, just so that that establishes our boundary here for the page and then I thought about this for a minute uh, what else did it need and um, look at there <laughs> the the Ali Edwards December daily star kit star mini kit and the star stamp set. Um, get your water bottle because we're going to talk stars again so you can get your hydration in. I always play a star drinking game whenever I do stars in my layouts. So uh, you can get a water bottle and every time I say the word star, <laughs> grab a drink of water and you'll get your hydration in for today. So you're welcome, Star Drinking Games. And I'm just going to use that stamp set to add a little bit of details uh, into some of this white space that's left over. And I don't know why. It's something that we scrapbookers have this obsession with filling white space with either stamps or embellishments or puffy stickers. <laughs> and I don't mind one bit. And so I put... A couple of the stars or the constellations at the top and the bottom uh, corner, opposite corners of the birds here. And then I also stamped the two sentiments there. And um, gosh, that looks so pretty. Oh, I love it. I love it to bits. I love how that turned out. And then you can see how the doors, all the doors flip up a little bit. And then I'm going to do just... A, a couple more things. Remember how I said I left some of the doors without numbers on them. And so I'm going to grab a couple of embellishments from the Ali Edwards December Daily product release and add a couple of cute little things to the top of those doors. And so there were the little tiny felt embellishments that were in the Paisley Press kit and the Ali Edwards main kit. Yes, um, so those are just the cutest things ever. And then I'm also going to use some of these little Christmas tree transparency pieces. Um, those were gorgeous as well. And they add just the tiniest little bit of sparkle to the page. I don't know if you saw Tashi, Tashi Gordon um, minked these star constellations on her reason why page i think and it looks stunning so if you have a mink and you're able to do that i highly recommend that i don't have a mink and i'm just jonesing for one <laughs> to get 
terribly. I'm ter I want a mink really bad, but I don't really know. I don't really have the space for it. Um, I don't have the space for it and the printer that it needs. Like, where am I going to put another printer and another machine? I don't know. But for today, this is what I've created. Um, thank you so much for following along. Be sure to check out the blog post. Don't forget to sign up for the newsletter so that you can get the freebies that are going out at the end of this month. And I will see you back here again soon, you guys. Bye-bye.